So, good morning. This is Dr. Ronald Tehini, and I'm gonna teach you numerical analysis. So, this is my email in case you needed to ask me any questions. So, first of all, we are going to see the contents of this course, the basic organization of the lecture. So the first chapter will be general introduction about numerical analysis. So what is numerical analysis? The type of error that we can do in numerical when we use numerical methods. The chapter one will be about the numerical resolution of f of x equals zero or how to find the roots of any nonlinear uh, equation okay uh, the chapter two will be about polynomial interpolation chapter three would be about curve fitting and the least square methods chapter four in the chapter 4, we'll see how to perform numerical integration. And chapter 5 will be about the numerical resolution of differential equation. And finally, the last chapter will be about the numerical resolution of linear system of equation or Ax equals b. Okay. So what is numerical analysis? Numerical analysis is the study of algorithms or methods that use numerical approximation to solve the problem that are encountered in mathematical analysis and in physics. So basically all the problem that we encounter in mathematical analysis Okay, we will be able to solve it only using okay, um, simple operation, addition, multiplication, and division. Now, knowing that addition and multiplications are, and divisions can be computed with additions and subtractions, which is the same thing, addition with a minus number, right? So basically, all the problems that we encounter in uh, mathematics, okay, the resolution of differential equations, linear uh, system of equation, nonlinear equations, all the systems, uh, all the, the problems that you can imagine can be computed using only additions. And that's how the computer basically does it, okay? So, numerical analysis is the study of these algorithms or these methods. Basically, numerical analysis, okay, or the concept behind numerical analysis is not something new, okay? They found a Babylonian tablet which dated 1,800 years before BC that used a numerical approximation to find the solution of square root of 2. So basically, finding the square root of a number, okay, cannot be, cannot be found using any analytical method, okay. We have to use a numerical method for finding, for example, the square root. Now, I, like I previously said, the concept behind numerical analysis is not new, but with the advent of computers, the numerical analysis method uh, started to be intensively used because they enable us, they enable to solve 
complex problem that are not possible or too complicated to solve analytically. Now, as an example of a numerical analysis algorithm, okay, we'll present here a simple algorithm, okay, for the resolution of a square root of a number, okay, square root of a number a. So this algorithm is based on the Newton method, okay, that we will treat in uh, detail in the next chapter. But now we will see the the steps of this algorithm. So basically, we have to start from an initial guess solution. We we'll call it x zero. That must be inferior to a, of course. And then we compute the next solution. Okay, uh, we, we compute the solution at step k plus one from the solution at step k using the following formula: x k plus one equal x k minus x k square minus a over two x k. All right. So basically, so I have x zero. Then I compute x one equal x zero minus x zero square minus a over two x zero. And I repeat the process. Okay, so from the x1, I calculate x2, x3, etc. And I will get, okay, at the end, the exact value for square root of a, okay, with a given precision. So this is what you should get. Right. If we take, for example, a equals 2, and we start from x0 equals 1, at the next step we will have x1 equals 1.5, x2 is equal 1.4167, x3 is equal 1.142, etc. Now, as you can see, okay, this algorithm needs only three steps to converge, so the this is the solution for square root of 2, okay, up to 4 digit precision. And uh, <clears throat> the, next sol the next iteration will not, not give you any better than, than this. So, as first task, okay, I will ask you to write a MATLAB program, okay, that will calculate the square root of a given number, okay, A. You will input the this number and then you will calculate the square root of this number using the formula okay that i previously showed you 